Panic attacks and anxiety can come on at any age and for any number of reasons. I can't remember how old I was when I had my first panic attack, but I was about 10 years old when I had my first big panic attack, although I didn't know what it was at the time or even that there was a name for it. I'd obviously done something wrong. Maybe I'd said no when I was supposed to say yes. Maybe I'd given a look that said, leave me alone. Or maybe I hadn't eaten all of my food and left some. I'd obviously been cheeky and needed to be punished. Years later, I can't remember what I'd done, but I can remember the punishment. There was a cupboard under the stairs which stored coats and the vacuum cleaner. There must have been a spider or two in there as well, as I'd seen some cobwebs. The door could be locked from the outside and not open from the inside, and the light switch was on the outside, with no way of switching it on the inside. I was dragged to the cupboard and shoved inside. The door was then shut. It was to teach me a lesson. In a small, confined space with no light and the possibility of spiders, I screamed and screamed to be let out. I bashed on the door and pleaded that I would be good while sobbing my heart out. I could hear someone laughing at me from the other side of the door as I gasped for breath. I don't remember how long I was in there, but years later, I do remember how I felt. I'd had a big panic attack and had developed claustrophobia, arachnophobia and a fear of the dark all in one go. It wasn't the last time I was put in the cupboard, but some time after that I'd had a dream. In my dream I was taken to a beautiful place with trees, warm sunshine and animals all around. I could hear the sound of birds and there was a stream nearby as I could also hear the gentle sound of trickling water. I could feel soft grass under my feet and I felt I was not alone in my dream even though I could see no one. I just felt them and also felt safe with them whoever they were. I received a message, it came into my head without words being spoken, that I could come here whenever I wanted that I was always welcome and always would be. I started to call it my secret place, a special place where nobody else could come unless I let them, a place where I felt totally at peace, a safe space. On the next visit to the cupboard, I didn't try to resist and I didn't cry. I accepted my fate and took myself off to my special place closing my eyes to the darkness around me and seeing the trees and animals grazing. I breathed in the fresh air of the nature all around me, felt the grass under my feet and listened to the birds tweeting away and the trickle of the water. I remained silent and it was the last time I was put in the cupboard. Many years later, I'm no longer afraid of the dark, afraid of small spaces or afraid of spiders or in fact afraid of anything. I now meditate every day and whenever I feel a panic attack coming on, I close my eyes and take myself to my special place and breathe deeply. On nights when I can't sleep, my special place helps me to relax and very often I drift into sleep before I know it. If you suffer from panic attacks or anxiety, then try and make a special place for yourself to go to. Put whatever you like in your special place. Trees, plants, herbs, animals, sunshine, rain, a forest or woods, or even a beach and mountains. Your special place is just for you, and it's full of the things that are special to you. Personally, I don't put people or man-made things in my special place, since I find that people can be the cause of my anxiety, but that's just me. Your special place is just for you and you can put whatever you want there. Just stay in your space until you feel better, until you breathe easier and tell yourself this too shall pass. You've got this far and you're still here. You're not a victim. You are strong and you've got this. If I can do it, 
then you can do it too.